U.S. National Security Advisor Brzezinski flew to Pakistan to set about rallying resistance. He wanted to arm the Mujahideen without revealing America's role. On the Afghan border near the Khyber Pass, he urged the soldiers of God to redouble their efforts. We know of their deep belief in God, and we are confident that their struggle will succeed. That land over there, yours, you'll go back to it one day because your fight will prevail and you'll have your homes and your mosques back again because your cause is right and God is on your side. The purpose of coordinating with the Pakistanis will be to make the Soviets bleed for as much as long as is possible. Question. The former director of the CIA, Robert Gates, stated in his memoirs that the American intelligence services began to aid the Mujahideen in Afghanistan six months before the Soviet intervention. In this period, you were the National Security Advisor to President Carter. You therefore played a role in this affair. Is that correct? Brzezinski. Yes. According to the official version of history, CIA aid to the Mujahideen began during 1980, that is to say, after the Soviet army invaded Afghanistan on the 24th of December 1979. But the reality, secretly guarded until now, is completely otherwise. Indeed, it was July 3, 1979, that President Carter signed the first directive for secret aid to the opponents of the pro-Soviet regime in Kabul. And that very day, I wrote a note to the President in which I explained to him that in my opinion, this aid was going to induce a Soviet military intervention. Question. Despite this risk, you were an advocate of this co covert plan but perhaps you yourself desired this Soviet entry into war and looked to provoke it. Brzezinski It isn't quite like that. We didn't push the Russians to intervene, but we knowingly increased the probability that they would. Question When the Soviets justified their intervention by asserting that they intended to fight against a secret involvement of the United States in Afghanistan, People didn't believe them. However, there was a basis of truth. You don't regret anything today? Brzezinski Regret what? That secret operation was an excellent idea. It had the effect of drawing the Russians into the Afghan trap. And you want me to re regret it? The day that the Soviets officially crossed the border, I wrote to President Carter, saying, we now have the opportunity of giving the USSR its own Vietnam War. Indeed, for almost 10 years, Moscow had to carry on a war unsupportable by the government, a conflict that brought about the demoralization and finally the breakup of the Soviet Empire. Question. And neither do you regret having supported Islamic fundamentalism, which has given arms and advice to future terrorists? Brzezinski What is more important in world history, the Taliban or the collapse of the Soviet Empire? Some agitated Muslims or the liberation of Central Europe and the end of the Cold War? <laughs>